Hello ladies and gentlemen, long time no see, been three weeks since my last upload, yeah, so I believe this could get me started on Let's Playing again, because I really, li I really like this game, and I'm not doing Vanilla Mountain Blade, I'm doing it with the mod Prophecy of Pindor, which is a fantasy mod, which I really do like, so it's a new game. Welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade Warband. Politics is dominated by male members of the nobility. This is emph emph emphatically not the case in Pandora. Men and women are equals in battle. The conquest and either gender may become king or queen. That does not however mean that you should not choose to play a character who is not a noble birth. Nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but commoners can attain all of the same goals. And in fact, may have a much more interesting, if not er, more challenging, early game. Male. Okay. So, you were born years ago in the land of Barclay, far to the west of South of Pender. You never knew your mother, who died when you were young. Your father was... Hmm... A noble merchant ship captain. A knight of an outlawed knighthood order. A retired noble adventurer. A banished chieftain, son from the shower steps. Mysterious figure. I'm gonna say an impoverished noble. Your family came into the world the son of impoverished nobility. Your family fled the southern Pender city of, of, G of Janos upon his purchase of a tumbled manor in the outlying district of Barclay. Your father and his old retainers managed to provide you with a good education and trained you from childhood in the duties of the aristocracy and the rigors of life at courts. You set with negative relations with the empire. Not bad. In your youth, you had very little idle time. As your father served minor such you apprentice. Successful merchant, fend for yourself, or send you on your own to hunt. Successful merchant. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprentice to a wealthy merchant, learning your trade by managing inventory, selling merchandise, and traveling with his caravans. It was a hard life at first, but it grew easier as you learned how to pry out information in the art of buying low and selling high, and how to leave a customer thinking he'd beaten you, and driven the harder bargain himself. Then after what seemed an eternity, eternity your life changed. You were given the opportunity to become a squire. Bard, a scholar at the Barclay University, self-employed merchant, an engineer and builder, a tracker and hunter, a scholar. The distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. You find yourself a student at university, one of the great cities, where you studied theology, philosophy, and medicine. Then all your lessons are learned in the lecture halls. Sometimes you join your fellows as they roam the alleys in search of wine, women, and a good fight. You learn first how to set a broken jaw, and how to persuade an angry challenge to set down his club and accept cash compensation for the destruction of his shop. But as the fates would have it, everything in your world changed suddenly. You had no choice but to leave the lands of Barclay and strike out for Pendor because of... Personal revenge. My father was murdered. Become an adventurer and sail to the shores of Pendor. I'll let the audio take place in the Thank background. You, champion, for heeding my call and returning to Pendor. More than ever, we desperately need your aid. Pendor has fractured into factions yet again, just as we need union most desperately. New enemies have invaded us. And old ones have returned in force. We are poised to seek out the evil goddess Azidahaka and destroy her once and for all. On behalf of the people of Pendor, my champion, will you once again take up the sword? Okay, after that brief um, intro, which is pretty good, if you ask me, I'm gonna go for trainer. Tactics. I do have a. I do have the battle size mod set at 300 men, so you'll be seeing 300 men in battle. 150, usually 150, especially if I have tactics up. Pathfinding. Um, I need that. Inventory management. I need that. And I'll get some points into first aid. Let's increase one-handed and archery. Now as a name. Let's think of a good name for a hero. I'm not gonna use a cliched name like myself. Uh, I'm not gonna use Romulus. I'm not gonna use anything Roman since we plan on destroying the Empire. Maybe something Frankish or maybe ang anglicized. Hmm. I'm thinking something along the lines of a prominent name but what? <laughs> hmm. Let's think about this. Name, 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 name. 
Hmm. What would be a good name? Hector? Hero of Troy. I know a couple guys named Hector. Could be, it's Greek and also could be used in Spanish households. I have seen it used in Hispanic households. And it's kind of pseudo Greek. Uh, Hector is another one. We could go for something more Germanic. Say, um, I don't know, Wilhelm, or maybe William. That's a good prominent name, but I think we'll go for Hector. Hector the Brave, the Strong. Okay, let's choose a good Hector skin. My god. <laughs> let's go for... a little bit overly brown, but eh, we can make it work. Oh, hey, that's nice. Oh, it's a ponytail, though. Doesn't look good. Uh, oh, that's good. He looks a little concerned, though. Let's maybe we can change his eyebrow position. There we go. Boom. Let's make his hair dark darker. Give him a little a. Actually, no. He's supposed to be a young adventurer. So, let's go with that. By the grace of the divine Yuravan Pendor, a land plagued by constant tri strife for over 150 years, you have accepted a daunting challenge to stave off the influences of evil, reunite the warring factions of the Old Kingdom, and fulfill the prophecy of Pendor, as are told by the man wanderer Madigan. These are dangerous lands where many powers, great and small, vie against one another for supremacy. Here you will find honor and nobility, but also deceit and skullduggery. There will be valorous knights and black-hearted assassins. You will leave your past behind to start a new life. Pendor is not your typical medieval country. Women and men have equal chances of success and failure in Pendor. If you you succeed, you fulfill another destiny, creating a new possibility in the infinite dimensions of reality. Your choices may create a new thread in the weave of, for the oracle, oracle to choose, and offer the possibility that your actions may save a soul. Drawn by the stories you hear about Pandora and its kingdoms, you... Hmm. Sarlian is a typical heavy knight's longbow. Think a mixture between, like, England and France, you know, heavy, real heavy cav and real heavy longbowman. Ravenstern, I believe, is like heavy infantry, like, um, like, like, Scotsmen and Northmen, basically. The Deshar Principalities are like a mix between, um, I think they're a mix between, like, uh, like, like, the Mongols and, like, basically desert nomads, I think. I'm not sure. I never played as a Deshar or Fjords fan. I've only ever played in the, as the Empire, Sorley, or Sarleon, and Ravenstern. I could just do Fjords vein. That sounds fun. Yeah, let's do it. And since I have, you know, bad, you know, bad uh, stuff with the Empire already, uh, so it looks like he took a passage in the Barclay Merchant Ship, heavily loaded with trade goods to be sold to wealthy Fjords vein merchants, and distributed by caravans throughout Pandora. It was not a favorable sailing for, sa for sailing. The ship struggled throughout storms and heavy seas. Twice your captain outsailed marauding Van Scurry Raider longships bound from their fours and areas to ravage the Fjords vein's coast. The captain explained that the Fjords vein was home to the Van Scurry's distant kinsmen, the Fjords vein lords who only a few generations before had carved themselves a kingdom in this rich but troubled land. Exhausted by the time, yeah. Scabbard. Blade. Battles. Battle time. So looks like I got a sword. A crossbow. Make it work with that. Let's shoot this guy in the chest. There we go. Boom. Alright, now what? Uh, here comes the merchant. I should have shot him in the face. Are you alright? Yes, most certainly, sir. Merchant of Yavik's oops, Merchant of Yavik's home. Please let me explain my proposition. Those bloody Van Scurry Raiders are growing bolder with every passing day. They take every person they come across as skulls and send them back to their iceberg of a country in chains. They watch Commander says Oh, the watch commander says they look they took too they look too much like everyone else in the Fjords veins, so they enter the city. They could kid they could be any citizen. Anyway anyway, Van Scurries have kidnapped my son. Oh no My son had a bad habit of frequenting the taverns, associating with people he should not. He also drinks too much. I fear he was he was waylaid by some Van Scurry Raiders as he stumbled home too drunk to defend himself or raise an alarm. I make no excuses for his behavior. He is an idiot. <laughs> but he's my own blood and after all after all 
Oh, but he he's an idiot. But he's my own blood after all. If I can't protect my kin, people will start thinking that I can't protect my ins of estimates either. And I can't have that. I'm also fond of the young blighter. He's my only son and I love him despite his foolish ways. I will rescue your son. Okay, with no training the fight off, they're also mercenaries. Yeah. I'll go get myself a levy. Okay, let's go get let's go get a levy. Yavik's home loyal knights. So this is the map of Pendor. Okay, so we got Riven's turn up north, Yavik's home and I mean Fjord's vein to the west. We're we're in the Disharp Principalities to the southwest. Mm. Sarlian in the center and the Empire to the south. I'd say we probably might pick up a job as a mercenary for either Fjordsvane or Sarlian. But for now, let's see there. Let's go find some action for us to do, and then we'll end the video here. And yeah. So, where's my character? Yavik Solm, so let's go to Kulum. Prophecy Winner is designed for experienced player who has mastered the fundamentals of combat through native or other mods. For those of you who are ready for the experience, we hope you enjoy Prophecy of Endor. Yes. Training field. Kulum. Let's uh, recruit some volunteers. 20 dinars. Actually, how much money do I have? Oh, I have 1,640, yeah. The high arts. I think I. Yeah, I have that. Fine cross out noble sword. Yeah, I'm gonna need one more skill and two. Hungry bandits. Go. You better not be a manhunter. Two arms. This will be easy. We'll just have them charge for now. Oh, this is a nice. Where are they at? Check. Directly. Oh shit! Directly to my right. Yep. Hmm. Ah, there they are, right in front of my face. Let's get a shot off of them. Swing around. Got one. Get the other one. Boom. I'm playing on normal, by the way. If this gets too easy, of course I'll. I can change the. I can change the difficulty. You know. In game, so. I'll change it if it gets too easy. Oh, I missed. I think I'll have my Beard's Vein recruits do something. Where the hell are they? You got to send the charge. Yeah, I'll charge into this guy. My horse. Oh shit! Then charge in with spear. Come on, do something. Yeah, I'll reload. Well, they graciously trot over here. You know, this is a war. We're in battle. Are you gonna shoot him, or are they gonna charge me? Um. Ah, oh, I killed one. Save me! Kill him. Don't die. Don't die, you scrubs. Kill one of them. Get the experience. Come on. Don't die. Oh god. There we go. Thank God. Yeah. All right. You killed one guy. Victory to us. Three outcasts, one bandit. Total four kills. Let's take all their shit. We'll sell it. Boom. We got 37 experience in the party. Party. Let's go to cover right. Cover raid. Oh, oh God. Heretic coven. Car Heretic coven. Hey, Jarl Anker. Recruit. No one here seems to want to join up. Ah, shit happens. You can't force the fully lovey people, unless you're a lord, of course. In which case, yes. One day, we will sit upon our own throne. Perfect, I have five guys now. Let's make our way back to Yavik's home to sell our shit and talk to the merchant. Oh god, demon worshippers. Oh my god, there's so much this I don't know I don't know how leveled those guys are. I mean twenty guys at oh outlaw band, get him. Yes. What's this then, eh? What's this then, eh? Let's have everyone charge in at the start. Who gives a shit? Just kill him. Oops. Directly ahead.
Hmm. There they are. What? Oh my god. What was that? I got this. And shoot. Oh. In the chest. Uh, could be better. In the leg. Oh god. Oh, got one. Nailed it. Kill him. Oh, shit. Oh, that guy survived that. Uh oh. Come on. Good job, lads. Get him in. Come on. Get him. Ah, oh, come on. Yes. Woo. Good job. Oh, there's still one left. Nice block, dude. Nice block. Boom. Alright. There we go. Let's take all their shit again. In fact, I want this spear. I might keep it for myself. After all, a good horseman needs a fine spear. Uh, hunting crossbow really not for me right now. Let's go sell our shit, talk to the merchant, and... Oh, God. Oh, and some sort of soldiers ready. Fiertsvane Militia. That is a sweet kilt, man. Sweet kilt. I don't even think that was a kilt. Like a tav tavern or something. Uh, let's sell this shit at the goods place. Uh, sell that. 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 Keep. Eh, I saw it. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 sell. Just sell everything. I don't need anything of this. If I'm gonna get a spear, I'll get one that I can use. That was not bent or anything. Okay, I gained 300 cash. Belligerent and drunk. Screw it. Oh. Excuse me. I'm not. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Some sort of animal. Oh, I have that smirk. Oh, you gonna fight me? Let's do it. You don't have a sword, man. You have a shield. I'm just toying with you. Come on. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that, that happened. God damn it. What an idiot. I'm an idiot. That, ah. Uh. Just shoot myself in the head of this crossbow. I always make a fool of myself. Ah, how many men do I need? Let's check the quest marker. Seven. Collect five men. I don't. I don't have five men. What? Yeah, five men. I, I guess I need more than five men. I don't know. Let's wait here. Wait through the day, dusk, evening. Midnight and late night. I thought it goes in the morning. There we go, dawn. Leave. Save and exit. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first part of this hopefully ongoing long let's play that I will be having. What goals am I going to set for myself? Um, I'm going to say I'll have him uh, becoming a lord and becoming marshal. I mean, I don't really intend to do this like until I totally win, like, win the entire game. I'm pretty sure Pandora has, like, its own storyline and stuff, but, uh, like, becoming lord of the entire thing is gonna take countless hours, and, eh, not for me. I think I'll just help the Beardsvein lords, or Sarlian lords. I don't know, I'm certainly like Beardsvein. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you next time.